Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are a foreigner and want to invest in Vietnam property, you may have a lot of questions right now, such as can foreigner actually buy the Vietnam property? And are there any requirements or restrictions? How long can foreigner actually own the property in Vietnam? 50 years and extendable? What if a foreigner sells the property to another foreigner in Vietnam? How long will the next owner own the property for? And are there any foreigners in Vietnam own the ping pong? What is a ping pong? What is the long-term lease agreement? What is a sales and purchase agreement? And the differences between them? In today's clip, I'm going to help you answer all of those questions and help you understand how to invest in Vietnam property. This is like Vietnam Property Investment 101 course in just 15 minutes. Welcome to the trusted gateway of high value real estate in Vietnam. Here's Casey Pham, your expert in real estate investment. With 14 years under his belt, Casey has been the guiding light for over 1,000 international clients from Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Korea, USA, Europe, making property investment in Vietnam seamless and successful. Collaborating with top developers like Keppel Land, Capital Inn, Vingroup and reputable distributors like CBRE and Saville, Casey ensures excellence and variety in every property selection. Working with KC means every step is guided with precision. He starts with detailed, data-driven analysis, ensuring informed decisions. Whether you're planning to invest $50,000 or more, Casey tailors solutions to fit every financial plan. Your dream property in Vietnam is waiting for you. So the very first one, let's talk about the Housing Law of Vietnam, enacted in 2014 mark a significant change that allow foreigners to own property in Vietnam. However, there are some restrictions and requirements as following. Under the House law enacted in 2014, foreign individuals and organizations are permitted to buy residential properties in Vietnam, such as apartments and houses and projects that are not located in areas restricted for national defense and security. Eligibility Foreigners with a valid visa and international organizations operating in Vietnam can buy properties. Ownership duration Foreign individuals can own properties for a maximum period of 50 years with a possibility of extension under certain conditions. Property types and limits Foreigners are allowed to buy a maximum of 30% of apartments in a condominium complex or up to 10% houses in a residential project. Purpose of use the properties can be used for residence, leasing, or other purposes in accordance with the law. Resale and inheritance. Properties can be sold or inherited, but the new foreign owners will also be subject to the same conditions. And the duration of ownership of the new owners will be the remaining of the 50 years, not the renewal one. For the tax regarding buying property, when buying properties from newly launched projects, buyers have to pay 10% value added tax. When buying properties from resale, Buyers don't need to pay any tax, but the sellers will have to pay 2% personal income tax. When leasing out the properties, owners also have 5% personal income tax and another 5% for the value-added tax. Now, let's go into the questions and answer part. In this part, I already gather all of the questions that are asked often by the foreigners regarding to the Vietnam property investment. Let's go and answer them one by one. 1. When does the 50-year ownership period start? In Vietnam, for foreign individuals and organizations, the 50-year ownership period typically starts from the date of issuance of the Land Use Right Certificate, often referred to as the Pink Book. However, with the leasehold ownership, this will be counted from the investment approval of the developer when starting the project. It means when the developers got the investment approval, starting, the 50 years of the leasehold will be counted from this, and can be extended under certain conditions, subject to government approval. 2. What are the differences between Long-Term Lease and Sales and Purchase Agreement SBA? Long-Term Lease This is a lease agreement for a long duration, usually up to 50 years for foreigners in Vietnam. 
It doesn't provide ownership rights, but rather the right to use the property for the lease period. Sales and Purchase Agreement SBA. This is an agreement used in the purchase process where ownership rights are transferred from the seller to the buyer upon completion of payment terms and other conditions agreed upon. 3. If a foreign individual buys and then sells to another foreigner, how long will the new buyer own the property? If a foreign individual resells the property to another foreigner, the new buyer's ownership duration will continue the remaining period from the original 50-year term. It does not reset to a new 50-year period. 4. How is the ownership duration calculated for foreign organizations purchasing real estate? Similar to individual foreign buyers, foreign organizations are also subjected to the 50-year ownership term. However, this can be extended under certain conditions, subject to government approval. 5. What is a 9-line passport? Is it possible to sell to holders of this passport? This term refers to passports from countries that include the controversial 9-line map claiming large areas of the South China Sea. Property sales to holders of such passports are generally considered sensitive and can be subject to additional scrutiny. In Vietnam, such passport holders will have limited access to new launch options and often cannot buy from resale too, as no notary offices accept the 9-dash passports. 6. Have there been any pink books issued to foreign nationals in Vietnam under the 2014 housing law? As of my last update, there have been instances of issuance of pink books to foreign nationals in Vietnam as per the 2014 housing law, which allows foreigners to own real estate under certain conditions. 7. Is the selling price for foreign nationals different compared to Vietnamese citizens? Why? The selling price for foreign nationals may differ due to various factors like market demand, the project's policies, or additional administrative costs. Some prime location projects, the price of foreigners can be higher than locals from 8 to 30 percent. However, by law, there should be no discrimination in pricing based on nationality. 8. Are Viet Q overseas Vietnamese considered foreign nationals? If a Viet Q purchases property, is it considered a foreign or a Vietnamese national purchase? Viet Q are considered foreign nationals, but enjoy some exceptions. They can own property in Vietnam under less restrictive conditions compared to other foreign nationals. If a Viet Q buys a property, it depends on their documentation if they buy as Vietnamese citizens using Vietnamese citizenship documentation, it's considered a Vietnamese national purchase. Otherwise, it's a foreign purchase. On the other hand, I also have three questions I want to ask you regarding to Vietnam property investment. The first one is, what worries you the most when investing in the new place? The second is, what do you most want to know about real estate investment? And the last one, have you faced any problems when finding the property to invest in? Thank you a lot for listening to this clip. I hope that I do answer all of the questions regarding to Vietnam property investment. If there are any questions that I haven't answered, please feel free to comment below your questions and I will personally answer them. If you want to know how to invest in the property in Vietnam with profit and safety, please subscribe to our channel. That will mean a lot to myself and my team. And also, please feel free to comment your answer to the 1, 2, and 3 questions above. And feel free to comment your questions too. Stay tuned and see you next time.